and welcome to week four in the NFL. I'm Big Italy 42 here talking about Fantasy Hub uh, for week four. Some of my favorite plays, some top plays, some value plays, and also helping you use our lineup optimizer at dailyfantasycafe.com. You can use it for stacks. You can use it to optimize lineups if you want to build a bunch of lineups. If you want to just try to give yourself a nice high floor or some upside, maybe uncover some players that weren't on your list that are um, underpriced. Maybe you don't have time to scroll through all the salaries, but you want to build some lineups. So I'm going to help you out here. But first off, I'm going to show you some great contests in the lobby here. Um, these are the athlete leagues, as you see. You click here, and we've got a bunch of great ones here. We've got Albert Pujols. You've got Greg Jennings, Isaac Bruce, Kurt Warner. Um, all these ones with great prizes for charities. If you click on them, for you can get some information on uh, what the charity is. Um, if you can donate some money as well, you can get yourself some uh, some great memorabilia and things to help out great causes. So make sure you check those out. And now let's go ahead and get to some top plays here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start at quarterback, as always. And this top one should come as zero surprise to you or to anyone. Aaron Rodgers is my top option for this week. $7,800 against San Francisco. San Francisco team that has been absolutely shredded. They've given up 90 points over their last two games. And uh, this is just a terrible team right now. Um, Arizona and Pittsburgh have just picked them apart offensive and de defensively. Aaron Rodgers has been his efficient self so far this season. Um, uh, his number so far in the year, coming off a five-touchdown, 333-yard performance on Monday night against the Chiefs. 73.6% completion, 771 yards, and 10 touchdowns, no interceptions through three weeks. He's not significantly more than really any of these other quarterbacks. Andrew Luck's the guy who's been struggling. Drew Brees may not even play. you got Peyton Manning up there who, I mean, he's been good, not great, not a guy I'd be playing, paying close to Aaron Rodgers' money for. So if you're paying up this week, obvious option got to be Aaron Rodgers here um, against that terrible San Francisco secondary. Next up, a value play, and this is one that hopefully you've already got on board with, but you can certainly still get on board while the getting's good and while the price is cheap. Ty Rod Taylor, Ty God Taylor, Ty Goat, whatever you want to call him, Tyrod Taylor's been phenomenal so far this year. 74% completion, uh, 714 yards, seven scores. He's got seven scores in his last two weeks, six of them passing, one of them rushing. Obviously, turned the ball over a whole bunch against the Patriots, but they were in catch-up mode. I'll kind of let it slide there. The Giants are allowing the most passing yards per game of any team in the NFL, 335 yards a game so far. So Tyrod Taylor at $5,600, despite the fact that Sammy Watkins is likely to miss this game this week. I still love him. He's got plenty of other options, and he can do it with his legs. He's a guy that has a nice high floor, even without having a huge game in the passing uh, department. So he can definitely raise his floor that way. So Tyrod Taylor, my favorite value play. And I'll throw in another guy here as well that I didn't write up, Derek Carr. More on him here in a couple minutes. I'm going to talk about one of his receivers. I think you know where I'm going with this one. But $5,200 Derek Carr, who is facing off against the Bears team that might quite possibly be the worst team in all of football. And uh, as you're looking at it, the Bears – 31st in the league against the pass, according to Football Outsiders. So definitely a great spot for them. Running backs. I don't love the matchup for any of these top guys. Adrian Peterson, Jamal Charles, both in really tough matchups. Marshawn Lynch, not 100%. He's only 50-50 to go. Uh, if Aaron Foster plays, I'm not convinced he's going to play. I think he may sit out one more week. If he plays, he's an instant play for me at $6,800. You have to play him. But... Assuming that he does not play, Matt Forte is the guy that I'll play if I'm paying up here. $7,000. Got 16 targets over the three weeks. I mentioned the Bears have been terrible. They've been terrible on offense and defense. Likely going to be Jimmy Clausen under center once again this week. Um, last week, I mean, you just had no chance at, in that game at Seattle. They were 0-2. Jimmy Clausen in his first game starting in years. I mean, it was, it was just a ba bad situation. And Forte still ran well. Didn't catch any passes. Only targeted three times, but... When Jimmy Clausen doesn't have any time to get the ball out of his hand, that's going to hurt him. This is the opposite type of the spectrum. Um, An Oakland team that's given up 33, 33, and 20 points the last three games. Bengals, Ravens, and Browns. So they've been giving up quite a few points. I expect Chicago to be able to move the ball and score some points here. Matt Forte has a nice high floor, especially in the PPR format here. So if I'm paying up and Aaron Foster is not playing, it's Matt Forte for me. And... Uh, if Foster plays, like I said, I didn't write him up here because there's no guarantee he's going to be playing this week. But if he does, I'm all aboard the Aaron Foster train. It's $6,800. He will be in all of my lineups there. All right, going on to a value play here. I'm going to go ahead and search here because this guy is so, so cheap. Carlos Williams, another Buffalo Bill. 
And if you look at the service statistics, it looks like the Giants have been great against the run. But I'm not a believer in that. Um, Carlos Williams has looked tremendous so far. He's only got 24 carries, but he's managed 186 yards, which is nearly 8 yards a carry, 3 touchdowns. Certainly, those numbers are unsustainable. You're not going to average 8 yards a carry. No one's going to come even close to that. But Carlos Williams, the guy who's been productive with LaShawn McCoy in the lineup, he's another guy who's not officially listed out. I can't imagine a scenario where LaShawn McCoy plays. So Carlos Williams, $3,200. This is a Giants team that allowed 135 rushing yards per game last season. It's essentially the same unit, even missing uh, one player on their defensive line. So I'm not a, I'm not a believer in this. the fact that this is just instantly an improved run defense. This is a team that's giving up a ton of points, ton of yards overall. And I think Carlos Williams is going to get plenty of volume. And, I mean, at $3,200, you're taking a very little risk here. So it's going to be a guy that I, I mix into a ton of my lineups there as well. Moving over to wide receiver, we don't have a debate between Julio Jones and Antonio Brown this week, partially because Ben Roethlisberger's out and Michael Vick's throwing, but also because Antonio Brown already played on Thursday night. So it's easy this week. Julio Jones is your top option, $9,200 against Houston. He has had 46 targets already in three weeks, uh, 34 catches for 440 yards and four touchdowns. The guy has a tremendously high floor. He's got an enormous ceiling as well. Probably going to be a little bit tougher sledding for Devontae Freeman in the running game. As we've seen, Devontae Freeman had the game of his life last week. Certainly don't imagine him having that sort of production on the ground again. But Julio Jones, a guy you can rely on week in and week out. Certainly a guy that I'll be playing in as many of my lives as I can there. Behind him, I'm going to throw out one more guy. Not a value play, but a huge upside play. A.J. Green at $7,500 coming off of a huge, huge performance last week. Now facing a Chiefs team that's giving up the most yards per game to number one wide receivers at over 117 a game, according to Football Outsiders. So this is a uh, great situation for A.J. Green. Bengals' offense looks great, looks explosive. A.J. Green has looked like a pretty tough cover when they needed him to make a play. So I'm expecting big things out of him. And then my value-ish play, it's not a very cheap play, but I think with uh, with tons of value at running back, this is a guy that I think you can easily get in your lineup. So Mari Cooper, $6,200. I mentioned earlier, Derek Carr, I like him. Bears, one of the worst, if not the worst, defense in all of football. Mari Cooper has been great. Last two weeks, 22 targets. He's pulled in 15 of them for 243 yards and a touchdown. And uh, like I mentioned, the Bears are just an awful defense. So Mari Cooper, Derek Carr, nice cheap pairing there. And I don't mind playing Cooper without him either. Cooper is $6,200 still. Uh, has elite upside at a, I mean, well below an elite price tag. So I'm a big fan there. Moving over to tight end spot. No Rob Gronkowski this week. He's earned his buy. And uh, he's going to be sitting on the beach or uh, maybe at the club dancing. I don't know what Rob Gronkowski's up to this week. But he won't be playing football, so he can't roster him. Greg Olson was the highest scoring tight end last week anyway. He was uh, Cam Newton's safety blanket, as he has been. And actually, through three weeks, he has the same number of targets as Rob Gronkowski. Obviously, you're hard-pressed to find anyone in the league that's as efficient with their targets at any position as Gronkowski is. But Greg Olson still seeing a ton of looks, 28 through three weeks last week. 11 targets, 8 catches for 134 yards and 2 touchdowns. Tampa Bay, according to Football Outsiders, 22nd against tight ends so far this year. So another good matchup for him and Cam, and Cam Newton here as well. Cam Newton, I mean, he's, he's the guy he looks to first, and he's a great red zone target. So going to be a tough cover for Tampa Bay this week. But if you don't have the money for that, there's a couple other guys you can consider. Martellus Bennett, I do like against Oakland. Um, like I said, Jimmy Clausen is a guy. He's not going to be throwing the ball down the field a ton. Bennett is volume pass catcher. He's a red zone target. I think he's in a great spot. But if you don't have the salary, I'll give you your cheap guy here. And that's going to be Charles Clay. Mentioned Sammy Watkins likely to sit in this one. So if he does, if and probably when he does, there's going to be a couple more looks to go around. Charles Clay at $3,100. Has seen 13 targets over the last two weeks. 101 yards and a touchdown. Not tremendous production, but at $3,100 for a guy who you know is going to see five, six, maybe even seven targets in this one. Gets red zone looks. Makes a lot of sense to give him a look there at $3,100. All right, next up, I'm going to show you how to make some lineups, some optimized lineups at DailyFantasyCafe.com with these picks. Obviously, use your own picks if you like. Mix in mine with yours, whatever you like. But just as an example, I'm going to go over here to DailyFantasyCafe.com. Lineup optimizer, of course, you're going to select Fantasy Hub here. And then to lock players in your lineup, you're going to go down here and to find a player, type in Julio Jones. And I'm going to go ahead and lock him into my lineup there. Um, another guy that I'm going to lock in my lineup is going to be Carlos Williams. At uh, $3,200, his nice cheap price tag. Love those two guys. And I'll go ahead and give myself Greg Olson as well at his price tag. 
and I mean, he's just a very safe option. And you go ahead and click here. You can look at the filters here. Obviously, this one, excluding these early games, you're going to want to take out this 9.30 game. and not included on most of the main slates, of course, with the 1 o'clock lock. Taking out Thursday game. You can filter by team total. 25 is a good way to go if you want some high-octane offenses. Rarely are you going to see 30-point totals for anyone. Um, you can do Sunday, 1 p.m. You can do the Sunday, 4 p.m. and later slates. Any, any that you want here. And then uh, put away your filters there. You can look at advanced options as well. GPP, cash games. I'm going to go with GPP lineup here. It's going to give you nice high ceiling with some of these guys. I already kind of locked in some safe plays as well. Obviously, you want to exclude the defense against your offensive players. You don't want Julio Jones scoring a touchdown and you losing points with the Texans defense here. Um, you could take away the quarterback running back on the same team. This is an option that's up to you. Taking off, putting on whatever it may be. Flex position, if you know you want a wide receiver there, you can lock that in. Or if you want running back, whatever that may be. Individual player exposure you can lock on as well. And that would be down here. Uh, Greg Olson, say you're making 100 lineups, you want him on 50 of them. You would go ahead and click that and then click here and put in 50%. Um, elsewhere, stacking. You can make stacks at the stack generator on our same website here. You can even upload your own projections by doing that right here. And then you can apply some certain models here that'll give you fantasy points allowed, biggest total, yards per game, whatever it may be. Lots of different ways you can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and generate these lineups with 25 there and see what we get. Give you a good idea of what you're looking for and, you know, some guys that you can go ahead and lock in and give yourself some upside. And like I mentioned, Derek Carr looks like the lineup generator loves him this week and you've got some great options here this first one here gets your your players that you locked carlos williams julio jones greg olson i mean it's surrounded by a ton of talent Derek carr there as well with Devontae freeman who had that huge game last week dante moncrief just forty nine hundred dollars struggled at times last week but but andrew luck certainly turned back around then you get larry fitzgerald and randall cop and the seahawks defense in there lots of great ways you can go maybe if you don't like that one you go down here and find yourself another one. Here's another interesting one. Andy Dalton in here with Cobney. At a second tight end is Jordan Reed, a nice guy. Another guy with a nice high floor this week. Some huge upside wide receivers as well. This one's got Keenan Allen. So take your pick here with whatever you'd like. I made 25. Obviously, you go up here. You can make as little as one, as many as 100. Mix them in. Lock different players. Do whatever you like. So if you have any, excuse me, if you have any questions, I'm at Big Italy 42. We are at DF Cafe. DailyFantasyCafe.com. So use these picks. Let me know if you have any questions about the optimizer or plays or anything of that nature. And uh, good luck in week four, and I'll see you next week.